Jürgen, given the chances you created tonight, what are your thoughts on a performance that probably deserved a lot more than you got? I don't sure if, I'm not sure if he deserved a lot more than we got. It's just that we played a really good football game, but at the end they scored three and we didn't score, so then we have, that's easy to accept. Uh, um, but football, you have different things. Um, um, what you, as a manager, what you have to judge, and for me, of course, it's very important how we how we played, and I'm completely happy. I told the boys I'm proud of what we, how we played. I think it was the best away game in the Champions League so far, and not only this year, last year included, um, against a side like this um, playing... This kind of football, I was completely happy. We, 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 we played between the lines, we played through, we were, we were in the box, uh, we, had, we had really good chances. We caused them a lot of problems, so that's good. And Champions League now is like this. If you lose away, it's not a massive problem. It can happen, as long as you score a goal. That's the problem tonight. We didn't score that goal, and um, so that makes our life now not easier, to be honest. But... Um, from my point of view, my boys gained a lot of respect again because for the, for the way they played, I'm so happy how they developed. And I had so much fun, really, in that game, but at the end, we lost it. That's now not really funny, but um, um, I'm long enough in the business too that I had to learn to accept things like this, and I do that, obviously. Um, well, but that's it. What then do you say to your players in there as regards whether there's still life in this tie, but also to pick them up ahead of Newcastle at the weekend? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I said to them that I'm really proud of them, that I really like the game, that it's wonderful, but we don't have to think about the next game against Barcelona, now we play now Newcastle. That's, um, that's all our focus on, so go, go in the hotel, have a proper sleep, get up in the morning and um, fly home um, and then prepare for Newcastle. That's how it is. But um, whatever happens, these boys. <laughs> I really, I, I, I couldn't be, I could, I couldn't be more proud of them. Because not, I, we know the result, and people who didn't see the game will say strange things about it. It's all good. We accept that easily. It's just how they always strike back in in in, in these kind of games. Difficult. How they, sh how brave they are in these moments. I just like it. So I just like it. And at the end, of course, it's still a three 0 Whatever I think about the game, it's still 3 0 and it will not change. So, but it's okay. Um, let's fly home and play Newcastle, and then we play another time against Passa. Sí, um, la Yatudel de, de Catalunya Radio. Hola, bona nit. Era la primera vagada que se enfrontava a Messi. Voldria saber quines uh, han estat les seves sensacions i si li ha semblat uh, imparable. Yeah, in his moments, he's unstoppable, obviously. We, cannot, we couldn't defend the free kick. <laughs> what a strike. Um, and he's a world-class player. He's um, outstanding. The second goal was probably not the nicest. The 2 nil was not the nicest goal in the career of Lionel Messi, but it shows his, his skills that he's even there, ball crossbar, and then he's there in that moment. Um, but apart from that, I really was, I'm hap I was happy how we defended the whole Barca team and, and Lionel in, involved. Um, I'm a big admirer of him, or probably everybody, but um, my boys tonight didn't show too much respect. They were really there. They tried with completely legal things. We, we didn't treat him harshly or whatever to try to get him out of the game. Um, we played just football, and I liked that, yes. I knew before that Neil and Lionel is a world-class player, and now I saw it again. I'm not too surprised, to be honest. Okay, we've got the next couple uh, there, and then we'll go to uh, Rory, and then over there. Hola, bona nit, Marta Ramon, oh, uh, de RACUP. Thank you. Um, què has pensat uh, amb el plantejament de, del Barça a, aquesta nit? Esperaves un Barça diferent? T'ha sorprès l'estil uh, pel que ha optat avui Valverde a l'hora d'encarar el partit? Were you surprised? You see Barca much more often. I saw them quite a lot now. You know, that's what I, I didn't think too much about Barcelona style, to be honest. We, we tried to play our game, and that's what we did in a lot of moments. I think if you are, I, were you surprised how good we are? I liked it, though, and it's difficult to play against us, but still, we, are, we lost still 3 0, so I would say 
Mr. Valverde did everything right and I did everything wrong. That's in football like this, um, but we both will still carry on probably. Um, and I was not surprised about Barca, what I did. So, so, so the lineup was okay. Arthur maybe for Vidal. Fullback may be different, but that's pretty much all apart from that. But then better maybe. But that's the three positions you have, <laughs> you have to make these choices. That's a that's a super life to be honest. So um that's a good thing about these things, you cannot make a mistake because every whatever you decide it's good. Um no, I was not surprised. Rory you didn't. Rory Smith from the New York Times. You mentioned you were pleased with how your players played. What in particular made you happy about what they did? What did you ask them to do and what did they do well? And just from what you just said just said then, what did you do wrong if you did anything wrong? Do we really think that people in America want to read that specific football <laughs> things? Are you, an, are you the educator there? Or are you bring the football knowledge to America like that? Yeah, that's all good. All good. Um. <laughs> so, football is very important. If you see, I think everybody in football is, is impressed by it. Barcelona, the quality of the players, the stadium, the competition, all that stuff. The challenge in football is not to show that respect. So you have to be, you have to be ready, really, to to look sometimes ridiculous, really, that you that you miss that you you got a nutmeg, whatever, but you have to be there. You have to make this last step. And then somebody's there and can collect the ball and we can start playing football. So how we defended it, how brave we were in these situations, how, how, how that, I like that, how, when we got the ball, uh, we were not always brilliant, but we were pretty much always really good. So we played, we controlled the game in moments, we let them run, uh, we, they had to defend, we played between, it. it's just, we created. Maybe not constantly chances. That's not possible. They're too strong for that. But moments, moments with the, with the, with the chance to make a proper chance of it. So that's that's good, and that's what you have to do. You have to create by yourself, and that's what we did. And, um, and yeah, nobody should be really interested in it. Probably only a few football nerds will talk, think about it because it's about the result, and we lost three 0 But uh, I can work really good with this game. That will be in my. I will use that for for whatever, to to show the boys what's possible. Um, yeah. You saw the game, so you 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 saw obviously good things as well. So it was just it was a brave performance. It was just good, very passionate, uh, very lively, very. How is that? Um, in a lot of moments, creative. In a lot of moments, direct. Everybody was on their toes. I, I liked the game really a lot. But that doesn't absolutely help. I don't know, I don't know that, but um, still like that. Okay, last couple uh, gentlemen here, then Paul and then Dom to finish. Okay. Hi, Jürgen, uh, Richard Martin from Reuters Agency. Um, I wanted to ask about Luis Suarez. Obviously, there seemed to be a lot of focus on Messi before the game, and you did a decent job of shackling Messi for about an hour, but Suarez was always causing problems. Was he something that you focused on as much as Messi? You really think, but I told my boys, ignore Suarez. What? I didn't see too many problems, which he caused, to be honest, but it's normal. If it's a quality, he causes problems. Whatever you do, however you plan it, we are not so silly that we think if we defend Messi, then we win the game. So the first goal was pass Phil Coutinho and a wonderful strike, a really good strike, a goal, I have to say, from Luis Suarez. No, we didn't. We were not surprised by nothing. It's just the boys. It's difficult to defend. If you, they are so good. So they, if that's exactly how you say. If you, then you control in a moment one player and then the other, but then the other player has a bit more space, but it's nothing to do with being focused on one player or the other. We defend the ball. Whoever has it gets our full concentration, and um, that's how we try to do it tonight as well. So. No. Okay, Paul and Dom, then we'll finish it. Yeah. Jürgen, do, do, you, do you think you have a chance in the second leg? Because it's football, yes, but <laughs> um, before this game, we had a bigger chance, let me say it like this. <laughs> so, and that's, um, look, it's, it's difficult. What can I say to, it's Barcelona and um, 
um, if they can play for counterattacks, that doesn't help us a lot. That's difficult to 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 avoid. Um, and yeah, I, because it's football, we should still try. But um, it doesn't make it now. Um, it didn't make our life easier, obviously. It's not a night for being really mouthy and telling you yeah, it's exactly what we wanted. Half time, so score an early goal and all that shit. That's uh, sorry, and all these things. Um, uh, so it will be another really difficult game. Okay. Dom to finish. Last question. <coughs> yeah, again, it was just wondering how how pivotal you thought that minute was when it went three nil and then Salah hits the post. Did you believe that that could be the the the, tie, the, the fine margins of the time that minute? Yeah. Obviously, our season is for this, this season is for close, tight decisions. Eh? <laughs> Balls in, not in, post, not post. A 3 1 would be a better result. I would feel slightly different in this moment, but with 3 0, of course, it, it's it's different. So, it, what can I say? It only showed us we can, we can have chances, so that's how it is. We, these boys never give up. That's how it is. They never give up. I love that. But um, there were, that's in a, in a dressing room, I said, there's no party in the moment. There's nobody thinks so halfway through. So, we have, to, we, have to, we have to use that game for a lot of things. For a lot of things, but in a moment we just feel disappointed, frustrated, whatever you want to say um, about the result. But there will be a moment when I when I can convince the boys again how important this game was for, for was for our development because I really think it was the best away game we played in the Champions League, and so that's that's another important message as well for us, not for the world outside because they're the one results, but for us it's a very important message.